elephant is the largest animal living on Earth. Uh, some of them weigh more than a school bus. So when you weigh less than a couple hundred pounds, how do you get them to do what you'd like? Well, for years, elephant trainers have subscribed to the it's better to be feared than loved school of elephant training. But there have been some uh, real rethinking about that particular approach. And ABC's Stephanie Sai explains. Observe elephants in the wild, and you can imagine why the multi-ton beasts are very difficult to train, even in captivity. There have been dozens of incidents in recent years of elephants attacking their handlers, including at the Pittsburgh Zoo, where in 2002, an elephant crushed a trainer to death. You see it all over, you know, the media every now and again. Yeah. Elephants stop and, and they turn on the people that are, are working with them. So there just has to be a different way. Enter horse trainer Jesse Peters, who dresses like a cowboy but talks like a shrink. Instead, we have to think like the elephants. We have to think like a horse. And we have to understand how their society interacts with each other. Peters was brought into the Pittsburgh Zoo for a groundbreaking experiment to use the famous Pirelli method of horse Come training here. on elephants. Very good, steady. It's been so amazing to see how the theory book between what we know about prey animals with the horses almost directly steady. translates straight over good. to the elephant world. Good. Horses and elephants, he says, have their own personalities, just like people. Dominant, playful, easily spooked, Callie, no. Understanding different horsonalities and how they interact with humans, whom they view yes, as predators, no. has been the key to training steeds not with Here. whips and rods, but with care and empathy. To start, the elephant handlers practice the techniques on horses and even themselves. Firm but not forceful prodding, confident body gestures, and facial expressions were the trick. Good smile and tell her that was pretty cool. A determined look and some finger wiggling was all it took for Lynx to obey my commands. Oh, there she goes. The trainers then took the skills they used with the horses and applied them to the elephants. We have to work on their feet. We have to give them baths. So they need to be able to tolerate. Callie, move up. Good. Thiessen noticed that elephant maintenance became immediately easier. Very good. Trainers that had been using old school methods good. of fear and aggression found the elephants were more responsive when they started bonding with them. Well, it's a very different way to look at working with the animals because you're looking at the relationship first and foremost. So the relationship is more important than getting this task done. I even got to try my hand at it. As I approached Victoria, a diva-ish 10-year-old, I remembered to stay calm, confident, and loving. Move up. You want her to stop? Take a step forward. Stop. Steady. Look at that. Look at you. Look at that. Look at you. Unbelievable. A 4,000 pound animal tamed by a tasty carrot and a few kind words. For Good Morning America, Stephanie Sy, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania.